All right, guys, we just finished today's warm-up. You guys should be nice and pumped at this point. We're gonna move on to today's wide. So today's wide, I have it laid out over here. Anybody who wants to screenshot this, this is what we call in the CrossFit world as a Cindy. Cindy is an AMRAP, which in the CrossFit world, we know as as many rounds and reps as possible. So the standard for a Cindy is AMRAP of 20 minutes. So basically as many rounds and reps as you can get in, in the allotted time of the 20 minutes. It's gonna be five strict pull-ups, 10 push-ups, 15 air squats, and then follow it and finish by 30 double unders, all right? The modified version, if for whatever reason you do not have the equipment available to you, it's gonna be in AMRAP as, again, as well again as uh, 20 minutes, 15 odd object rows, 15 push-ups, 15 air squat hops over any odd object, all right? An odd object, could be anything from like um, a duffel bag to a book bag, anything that you can add weight onto it. And that'd be kind of, uh, that would be your odd object and you could use that for the rows. We'll go over that in a little bit. For now, I'm gonna go over the AMRAP for the standard Cindy, all right? Standard Cindy, 10 push-ups again, like we always wanna see, make sure that the, right when we come down to this position here, that the wrist and the shoulder are in, are in alignment. Your shoulders aren't too far back, your shoulders aren't too far forward, right? Shoulders and wrists in alignment from each other. And they should be about shoulder width apart with the, with the hand placement as well. And then again, we don't want elbows flaring out, saving the shoulders. From here, we're gonna come up and in, down, and then breathe out on the way up. All right, breathe in and out on the way up. Anytime we're, we're doing it, um, well, concentric in this way, anytime we're, we're pushing or we're exerting force, we wanna be breathing out. This is kind of, uh, it kind of helps with blood pressure regulation and it, it, uh, it'll help out in the long run, basically, right? Kind of calm, calm the body as we're working out, all right? So that's gonna be the push-ups. Again, if you're having trouble with those push-ups, you, you could always go down on the, on the knees, same principles, all right, coming up. If that's, uh, again, if that's a little, if that's a little too hard, you could also just work on the negative, just come straight down. And then the concentric movement, when you're, the positives, when you're coming up, again, you could just peel yourself off the, off the ground if it's too hard, right? Come down, and then just peel yourself off the ground. Slowly but surely working your way up into getting stronger with that movement. 15 air squats, right? Our feet are going to be a little wider than hip width apart. They're going to be on the shoulder width apart, at least for me, right? From here, I'm going to make sure that the knees are lining up the same, same process as uh, the same alignment with the feet and the toes here. And when I'm sitting, also I'm sitting not straight down, but I'm also like pretending that I'm sitting down on a chair, right? So when you sit down on a chair, you don't sit straight down because you kind of hit yourself there, but you sit kind of back. You don't realize you're doing it, but you're sitting back, right? So we're hinging at the hip, right? Coming down, coming down, making sure the back is nice and straight. Coming down, right? Heels on the ground, make sure the heels aren't coming off the ground at any given point. The knees aren't caving in, keeping nice and flexed here, keeping the glutes activated, coming down, and then straight up. If you need, you can use the hands out to kind of counterbalance, to use as a bit of a, a balance for it so you don't fall over. The double unders, if you have a rope, you could either do 60 singles or 30 double unders. So the double unders, remember, really important when we're jump or we're jumping rope, we're not bending at the knees. We're coming up. This is more calf dominated, right? We're just doing this movement here. And it's a lot of risk. We don't want uh, arms flaring out. We don't want the, uh, the arms all the way out. If you get a little bit of uh, a little bit of burn on your shoulders, that's usually a common indicator that you're using too much of your shoulders and not enough of your wrists. All right. So get one of these. Right. Come up and over. All right. You can start off with the singles. All right. Over and 
and then when you're going out for the actual double unders themselves, it's basically the same thing except you're just coming up and jumping up a little further, all right? Same thing. And then you're coming up, all right? Coming up and you're just giving an extra hop and adding more wrist into it, all right? You just do a few of those. That's all muscle memory at that point because when it gets to be that fast, it's really it's really hard to keep track of it. But that's more muscle memory at that point. You just gotta practice, practice, practice. And when you go to sleep at night, you know you come back, and then that's how the body remembers things like that. All right, get a nice good sleep. Uh, the strict pull-ups. We're gonna go straight to that. Just gonna get this right over here. I have one of these at home. It's called an iron gym. You can get it for like 25 bucks, 25, 30 bucks maybe, the most. Maybe even less, I don't even know at this point. Really easy to apply. And um, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of form on the pull-ups as well, all right? Just gonna take a little bit of a tour. Apologize for the... All right. Really easy to apply. All you gotta do is put this up on there's one of these on the other side, but it's kind of a sticking out, so it can act as a as a counterbalance, right? Pretty safe. I've had people like 300 plus pounds go on this, no problem, and they hold on to them, so should be no problem for anybody here, right? And then really important when we're doing the pull-ups, we have this one here gives us a little bit of a uh, little bit of options here. We can either hold it this way. Which is an underhand, this is basically a chin up, chin up grip. Chin up grip actually is a lot more bicep activated and it helps out with the wide head of the bicep. It kind of helps it, kind of helps this part stretch out, and really, um, widen out a little bit. This way here is a neutral grip. You can hold this way as well and then pull up. This is more for the long head of your, the long head of your bicep. And then this one here is the most back activated. You get more lat activation from this one here when you're a wide grip. And really important also, when you're hanging from this position, make sure you guys aren't, your feet aren't dangling anywhere. They actually serve a purpose. If you guys have ever seen a boat hold, you're holding this way, straight. Um, the boat hold that you guys do on the floor, you're holding straight this way, right? This movement right here is the precursor to where you should be up there, right? So, you come up, same exact thing. Come down, feet are out in front of you. And another thing too, make sure you have active shoulders. So basically an active, an inactive shoulder would look like this. An active shoulder would look like this. So that the difference you'd be able to tell by the time I'm pulling up, I'd be able, I have clearance to bring my head from side to side. If not from here, there's like no clearance whatsoever. That's a good indicator that your, your shoulders aren't active the way they should be. So you're gonna come up, right? You're basically gonna involve your scapulas in this, right? You're gonna come up, look from side to side, and from there, your core is also engaged, making, making sure that there's basically no energy leaks anywhere, right? And give you the most, the most bang for your buck from this, from this uh, workout here. And then from here, you just pull straight up, chest to the bar if you can, or wide grip as well, and pull up. If you're having trouble with that, you could always work on the negatives, right? Get on a chair or something, bring yourself up, and then slowly, slowly control the movement coming back down. It takes a lot more patience that way, but everything is worth it though. Just a little bit of patience, that's all you need, right? Let's bring you back over this way. to the modified we're gonna start with 15 odd object rows 15 push-ups 15 air squat hops over any odd object all right so odd object rows are gonna look like this there's nothing back here it has handles on it all right so with the handles what you can do just like a bent over row, we're gonna have knees knees bent, 
our back is going to be straight. You don't have to be necessarily as low to the ground, but it's kind of a, almost trying to get parallel to the ground, so you're almost in line with the ground here. Okay, right, you're going to grab onto the back, and then from there, you're going to pull all the way up. All right, pulling up, making sure your elbows aren't flared out or anything, bringing them as close here as possible, as close to the ribs as possible. This activates, this is forces our backs to activate a lot more. And um, if, that's, if that's too easy, or if that's not enough range of motion, you can also grab from here, all right, and give you more range of motion, and then coming back down, and then pulling up to the chest, and back down, making sure that the, the head is not all the way down either, or too far up, all right? When we start having weight and we have our necks all the way up, it starts causing problems in our neck. And then if our heads are all the way down, we start having, we start cutting off our windpipe, basically. We want nice airflow, nice neutral spine with the head, all right? And then to make sure your back is nice and straight. Put this to the side, and then this we're also going to use for the squat hops. All right, squat hops basically over any odd object, which would be this in this particular scenario. You're going to go down to a hop, uh, down to a squat um, position, get ready, load your load your quads, hamstrings, everything, and then hop right over. Right, you're going to turn around, hop, hop right over. All right, same thing. We're going to do 15 of those. All right. If you feel like you start get, you're starting to get a little tired and stuff, you don't want to risk falling over this. You can push that to the side, and then you work. Try if you can't necessarily work too hard on on height. You can also work on distance. Hop, and then lean as far forward as you can. All right. That's today's why, guys. Cindy, Cindy's actually pretty fun. I hope you guys um, hope you guys have fun, enjoy it, keep killing it out there. You guys are doing great. All right. Any questions or anything? You guys can always reach us on Facebook, Verizon CrossFit um, online program. All right. Reach us. Reach out to us. Make sure you guys are posting up your your results on Spotify. All right. Uh, again, like I said, any questions, just feel free to reach out to us. All right. I'm Coach Abe. I'll be seeing you guys till next time. Take care, guys.